I've had more positive response to this work than anything I've made in my life. The point is that it's a struggle and it's very challenging. I would, um, it is risky, but I don't, I, I know that I don't want to die. So I know that if I get to a point where I am hypothermic or something, or it's a real problem, I will get pulled out. But now I know I can do it because I've done it five times in cold waters. So I feel like, you know, I, as long as I'm smart about it, I sh it should be okay. So the project that you might have heard about is called 36.5, a durational performance with the sea. It is a work that, it's an ongoing series of works that began in 2013. Um, it began as a response to Hurricane Sandy hitting New York City. When Sandy happened, I sort of understood for the first time that we were incredibly vulnerable as a, as a place in relationship to climate change and sea level rise. I had this realization that it was entirely possible that New York would, could disappear in my lifetime, that things could change so rapidly that um, the city as I know it might not survive. And I realized that the image that I wanted to create was an image of people who were unprepared for the water. So I wanted to- Did it get cold? I mean, did you finally- yes. <laughs> So you must have been- So you, you probably go out there at low tide. Yeah. And then you wait to go all the way up and then all the way down. Yes, yes. And that's uh, how many hours? That first time it was 12 hours and 48 minutes. That first time in Maine, I there was a moment when I remember looking at the moon and thinking, just feeling very connected to the water, um, thinking about the water and the connections all over the world of the water. At that moment, I decided, okay, this is a series, and I will. Um, I, ha I was like in so much, I hated it in a way. I was like very uncomfortable. I was like, this is terrible, but there's a reason I'm doing this. And so I committed to doing it exactly six months in another location, exactly six months later, and another location exactly a year later. So I just sort of made this promise to myself that it would happen again and again. And then the third location was San Francisco because it was one year later and I thought, okay, where can I do it? Where else can I do it to, to really sort of research and learn about what this work is? And I thought, okay, I'm going to do it in the Bay Area because I have family and friends there. And that's where, that's like the water that I grew up closest to. And so that's when I um, made it happen in Aquatic Park at, um, in San Francisco Bay. So, so I collaborate with a local filmmaker and, um, and we film the entire thing. And then I turn that footage into a video installation of a work of video art that then can be experienced by other people. I feel like the video, it's for me, it's mostly about the concept and it's about executing the concept and um, and bringing people together and being able to do the work in a community, connect to people, being able to turn that into a video artwork that then can have a longer life. Um, it's all of it together. The hope is that it it people take some, they see something and then they create their own meanings from that and that that's actually the power of it. So um, people come up to you and want to talk to you? I do not speak to them, yeah. That is, I do drink water during the performance. That's the only thing that I take into my body. I mean, I think the hard part is just that it's so much work and organization, administration really, like writing emails and trying to raise the money and, um, <clears throat> you know, committing to the big vision and then actually following through on it is a big, it's a lot of work. It's a very simple concept, but it, but it's also very complex. And um, in that, there's so many meanings you can take from it. And and I feel like it connects to people who don't necessarily always connect to abstract art. And so um, that to me, that is the that's the beauty beautiful thing about it is that I feel like people, um, vast number of people, have expressed that it means something to them. And that.